Hey fam, it's leg like day. I've said it before and I will keep on saying it, never ever skip leg day. If you want to see your body transform, you have to work those legs. So this is not a slow drawn out workout. We really move on this one. Uh, we have targeted supersets with minimal rest. So we not only put those leg muscles under tension, but we get into that fat burning zone. We'll have our work intervals of 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. We superset those and we go continuous four times through. So eight minutes straight for one round. We have four different sets of supersets. Uh, so for resistance and reps in this one, it's kind of up to you how heavy you want to go. If in that 45 seconds you want to hang out in that six to eight repetition range, you're going to go on a little bit on the heavier side, focusing more a little bit on strength and building a little more muscle. Uh, I like that sweet spot of that eight to 12 repetition where you're kind of getting the best of both worlds. And if you want to get that heart rate up a little bit higher, you can go from that 12 to 15 and kind of stay in the fat burning zone, but maybe hit a little bit aerobic as well. Um, no matter what you pick uh, for your resistance, you're doing awesome if you're feeling fatigued on the last two to three repetitions in that 45 seconds. If you're feeling the burn, then you're doing a good job. So you're fine whatever weight you decide to choose. Um, so this layout of this workout, we have a nice long activation because on leg day, we need to activate those glutes. Never skip the warm up. never skip activation on leg day. Then we go into our supersets. Then we're going to have a nice little finisher, you know, just put the nail in that coffin, and then we have our recovery and cool down. Uh, for our weights, remember, dumbbells have options, okay? Um, depending on how heavy you want to go, have a lot of variety there onto the side, so you can grab them because you'll have four chances for each superset to try those exercises out. Um, the next thing is, is having, I have a set of dumbbells here, or even have an example of a nice thick book for heel and toe elevation. So having the toes up during our good mornings and then having the heels up for doing half squats, okay? Both of those exercises can be done without the foot elevation. If so, you don't have that equipment, feel free to have your feet on the floor, but you also have that option. Another thing is you need a wall, so we will have wall sits on there. And another thing is um, a hip circle or a booty band or a resistance band like these here that John and I will be using in some of the exercises in this workout just to give a little extra burn. You don't need them, but if you have them, get them out and use them. That's what they're here for. All right, so get your equipment, guys. Get your options. Get your water. Get your towel. And let's get to work. All right, good fam. Let's get warmed up. We're going to start off with a simple squat and then a nice little kettlebell tuck. So, bring this back, squat, and then hinge in the hips. Awesome. We have squat variations and kettlebells in this workout, so kettlebell swings. So each time, increasing your range of motion. Really spending a good amount of time here, making sure that those legs are warmed up. Stretched out and activated. Let's do two more. Okay, now, whatever leg you want to start with, I want you to kick it out in front and then tap it back. Out front, tap it back. It's almost reach back like you're going to do it. Quad stretch, pull it back and then heel into the glute. Kick it, pull it back. Really thinking about each movement. Don't just think about swinging the leg. Feel the muscles as they move. One more. Other side.
squat under the bar. So think there's barbed wire. So I want you to come out wide, come low, and then I want you to give me that abduction. And then come under, and then lift. Imagine you're pressing the 
the bottom leg into the floor and lifting. So you're working both sides. Good, one more. Let's come onto our back. Place that right foot on the floor. Left foot can be up or across the single leg bridge. Go. Bring it 
little more heat to the body. Last part of our warm up. Nice job. Side shuffle, we go. Shuffle, shuffle, tap. Shuffle, shuffle, tap. Nice and easy, lateral movement. Okay, stop the taps, ball down front, go.
time, heels are up. Enjoy that 10 seconds. Wait up, three, two, and one, go.
Alright guys, super set number two. We are going to have a goblet squat and a lying hamstring curl. So I have my 30 pounds there waiting for when I come onto my stomach. Lock my feet behind and do the hamstring curl. And for this one, I told you if you have a booty band, you do not need one for a goblet squat, but I want to show you how you can use one to get that extra abduction and glute activation. So I have it above my knees, pressing them out. I got my weight right in the center. Getting ready for any for that goblet squat in three, two, lift it up, and one. So constantly keeping the knees pressing out into that band, if you got it. And even if you have one of the rubber bands, it just helps press out and down so you can activate those glutes a little bit more. If you don't have the band, you can just do exactly what I'm doing. Still emphasize pressing out with that band and back up. Even imagine you have that band on. Use your imagination. Okay. So quick, take that band off. Come right onto your tummy. Lock those feet to that dumbbell. Good. And we go. So pull it in. And if you've ever taken one of the classes, guys, where we've done this before, think of pulling that weight in and then kind of lifting and squeezing up at the top. I don't want you to stretch out that lower, stress out the lower back. So just think of glutes. You don't have to lift the top of the legs off the floor. Think in, squeeze up. So it's hand pull and then glute squeeze, tying it all together. Alright, sit down. Gladly. Yep. 
slow burn. <laughs> oh, it's deep though. Slightly 
tucked. I really want you to feel in the glutes, not in the quads and the hamstrings, okay? Get that?
All right. Once you've mastered your wall sit, you're super comfortable, then you can add 
hold something with weight to make it a little more challenging. And that's up to you. All right, bring it down and go. Keep those shoulders glued to that wall. Good, keep that chin nice and neutral. Relax the hands. Remember, hips, knees, knees over ankles. Shaking. Remember that little beach ball in between the legs? Get that activation if you got it. Remember to breathe. And smile. So if you don't have that wall, remember guys, you're holding that squat. Do a squat hold. Okay? Three, two, and one. Bring it up, shake it out. We're going to walk over for those calf raises. This time, heels in, toes out. Okay? Pick up those dumbbells. And you can do this without dumbbells as well. It's up to you. And go. So same concept. Press the top of that foot forward. Yeah, five more seconds, folks. And 
to bring it up. Ooh, beautiful. Come back over. One more set of those calf raises. We're going back to the first one for the feet are parallel. Oh. Bring it up. And go.
those legs nice and wide. Let's inhale, little baby back bend. Now, give me a big swan dive. Press those hips back and bring those hands down to the floor. Relax the crown of the head. Let's walk the hands over to the right foot. Good, now let's bring it over to the left.
our back side. Coming on to our back, let's take that right foot, cross it over that left knee. Bringing the fingertips behind the left hamstring and lower the head, neck, and shoulders back down.
last one. Good. And then just cross your feet, sit up nice and tall. Give me a big inhale up. Exhale down. One more time. Inhale up. And exhale. That was an awesome leg workout, guys. Stay strong. Keep up the hustle. And I'll see you back for another workout. Have a good one.